Hey, I'm Sapphire. Wanna hear something scary? Have you heard of the Black Eyed Children? It's not an early 2000s cover band consisting of infants. It's a phenomenon that's been increasing in popularity over the past few years. The basic story is always the same. You're in your house, and then in the middle of the night, you hear a knock on your door. And if you open the door, you'll see two young children with completely black eyes. They'll ask if they can come in, and whatever you do, don't let them in. Whether they actually exist or not, this is the creepiest encounter that I found online. This woman made the mistake of letting the black eyed children in. This is what happened. So this woman and her husband live in a rural town in Vermont, sort of in the middle of nowhere. And one snowy night, they are awoken at 2 a.m. to a really loud banging on the door. So they open the door and they see a young boy and a young girl, and they're definitely not appropriately dressed for the snow. They're avoiding eye contact and just staring at the ground. There was something really uneasy about these kids. And so they asked them, where are your parents? They'll, They'll be, be here soon. soon. Can, Can we, we come in? in? So this woman and her husband just looked at each other and despite all of their instincts telling them not to, they decided to let the children in. So the woman went into the kitchen to make everyone some hot cocoa and her husband went into the living room and was sitting there with the kids and trying to get more information out of them. And that's when she noticed her cat was acting really weird. Usually her cat is really friendly and likes to approach any guests that come into the house. But this time he just hid underneath the kitchen table and was staring at the children and growling very lowly. So the woman took the hot cocoa and went into the living room and she noticed that her husband had his head in his hands. I feel really dizzy. The woman went to hand the cocoa to the children and that's when they looked up at her for the first time. Their eyes were completely black. No whites, just black. Maybe, Maybe use the, the restroom? restroom? And the kids left for the hallway. The woman turned to her husband and said, did you see their eyes? Her husband lifted his head up and his nose was bleeding. And just then, the power went out. She couldn't help but think that the presence of these children had something to do with this. And so the woman stumbled her way over to the bathroom to see if she could get a tissue. And the two children were just standing there in the hallway. Our parents are here. So the kids went to the front door, left it wide open, and the woman saw these two really tall men in dark suits standing at the edge of their driveway. The woman waved at them, but they didn't react at all and went in their car and all four of them drove away. The power came back on about half an hour later, but not everything went back to normal. A few days later, three of their four cats went missing. And one night they came home to find their cat dead in a puddle of its own blood. Her husband continued to have nosebleeds. And when he went to the doctor, he was diagnosed with a very aggressive type of skin cancer a type that's linked to overuse of indoor tanning beds, which he's never used. She also claims that she started getting nosebleeds and feeling really dizzy randomly, and even some unspeakable things that she refused to disclose in her story. So, what do you guys think? Are there really black-eyed children running around putting curses on people? Let me know in the comments. Like this video if it gave you the chills, and don't forget to subscribe to Snarled and check out our other videos. Until next time, Sweet dreams.